Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to apply and search labels in TFS 2015 using Visual Studio. TFS 2015 Web Access does not support uh, applying and search label, uh, so we have to use Visual Studio. Applying labels uh, is really important and can be very handy. Uh, I'll give you one scenario. For example, you're working on a complex project and it has probably three releases. It takes three releases to complete that project and uh, multiple team members are working on the first release and your first release is ready it's all checked in tfs and ready to be deployed in production so the release one you can label it that um, uh, all the piece of code you want to save it and then you want to move on to your next release uh, you can apply the label and save it in a different folder uh, you can save it in your local repository you can save it in team foundation server uh, itself in a different folder so that uh, particular piece of code or particular release will be saved uh, and you can start working on your next release so let's take a look at how we uh, apply label and search label using visual studio here's vi my visual studio uh, and under tech brothers team project i have a branch dev and under branch dev i have um, uh, uh, my project that I'm working on is um, my SQL project and here is the solution for example that if two or three folks are working on this project and they have all completed and it's ready to be released in production it is my first release um, I want to label it I want to save that piece of code in somewhere else uh, I will right click on that um, particular project go to advance and go to apply label you have to name the uh, uh, label because you can use this name to search later on. Uh, I'm going to say SQL first release and comment. You can put anything you want to. Whatever. Uh, here is the path. If you wanted to save it in a different folder, you can choose um, and versions. I always wanted to get the latest version uh, so that the latest greatest code will be saved when I apply the label in the label itself so but you have option uh, saving a particular change set um, date um, whatever the work on specific date that was done uh, obviously label uh, itself as well and latest version and if you're working on your local repository you can um, save that as a, a workspace version if you have different version of your workspace but I'm going to use the latest version and click on create. As you can see right here in the output, the label first release is, uh, I'm sorry, this was the previous demo. Uh, label uh, SQL first release is created. Now, let's say that it is created and we want to search by label. What we will do is um, you can right click on your project. You can right click on the branch. You can right click on your um, uh, any folder and you can go in advance um, find I'm sorry and click find label so you can choose you can drill down um, if you wanted to search that label in entire all the projects that's in your team foundation server or uh, you can choose a particular project team project so in my case it's a tech brothers uh, so I'm going to search the label that I have just created so it is going to be SQL first release and I'll click on find and as you can see right here uh, it shows the name of the label owner of the label and comment on that label if I wanted to open this what I'll do is double click on this uh, label and as you s right here the the view is changed it's your project your branch and your solution because this is the piece of code you uh, labeled it and saved it um, but uh, if you go back to your source control you you see main branch SSIS folder SSRS folder but when you um, search a label and open a label it only opens the one that you saved so basically this is it this is how you apply and um, search labels in team foundation server using visual studio and I hope this video helps